On today's Out the Rycon Show, what is your best friend, your favorite shotgun, and man's best friend have in common? They bring you a fistful of pheasants here on today's Out the Rycon Show. Stay tuned. Welcome to this week's Outdoor Icon Show. Today we got Ike out on his first trip of the year. We're going after uh, some pheasants, chucker, and quail at Muscovy Run Game Farm up here in Kinsman, Ohio. It's early season. Um, we're doing a little tune-up, make sure the dog is ready to go when I've got some friends and family up here. Uh, kind of let them, it's been, been all summer long, we're going to let him get out there and run a little bit, get into a few birds, and, and kind of realize what he's supposed to do again. Yeah, he's awfully excited, and we just want to make sure he's learning out here and you know as he's working for us he's also learning something because he's you got to fine-tune him up it's it's one thing about doing yard training come on i care one thing about doing yard training but once you get him out in the field it's a whole different ball game and, and a dog if you're gonna have a good hunting dog he's got to hunt for us and not for himself he's got to be mindful of the other hunters that are out there and uh you, you don't want a dog you're chasing all over the field you want a dog that you're able to uh, tell him what to do and he listens. Right. You know, there's nothing worse than being out in the field with a, a, a dog where the guy's chasing him around all day long and, and you're standing there waiting for the dog to hunt and the dog is doing nothing but just running around chasing everything. And both, basically in, in worker dogs like Ike, their best reward is their master's praise and you know happiness, petting them, and, and definitely always giving them that positive reinforcement when he does a good job. Well, places like this too, these game preserves, Muscovy Run where we're at here in Kinsman, uh, it's a great opportunity because you can kind of stage the conditions that you want. They've got all different types of cover and habitat here. So we're going to let Ike deal with a little bit of cornfields. Yeah. He's going to deal with some um, warm season grasses. He'll deal with some thick brush and thorns. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we have some different scenarios for him to kind of figure out how to use his nose best mm -hmm. and how to find the critters that are inside of that cover. What's nice about using these farms like you, like you, and preserves like you said here is He's going to have some success today, so therefore, right. you know, along with the positive reinforcement we're going to give him, he's going to learn something to say and have association. It's like, oh, okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. Right. Even though they have the instinct that's bred into them uh, in the bloodlines and everything, it's always good to have that reinforcement. Right. And, and Ike is only—he's only 15 months old, so yeah. this is—he's still a pup. Uh, last hunting season, he was just a little bit too young. He got out around the gun, he got out and did some pointing. That's natural instinct. Um, but he's had a long, grueling training season from last spring and this summer. And I, and I think he's ready to go. He knows what a bird is. Um, he, as soon as he saw us put the orange on today, yeah. you know, he, he went uh, bananas. And right now he's out here doing his little Pepe, Pepe Le Pew hop and he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's ready to roll. butterflies and everything else. He's just happy to be out of the kennel and out into the field. So Absolutely. we'll see how he does today. Uh, we got a great recipe later in the show. Jeff Crystal's going to cook up some pheasant for us and show us. So hopefully we'll have a little success today for us and the dog. I'm and sure we will have a little Well, success. we still got to do our part and shoot straight. Yeah, well, that's... The dog will find the birds, <laughs> and it's up to us to follow through with the deal. We got to take care of them. And, but Jeff's going to cook up some great pheasant recipe for us at the end of the show today. Nope. <laughs> learn, some, learn some tips, and uh, come on, Ike, let's see. Are you ready to go? Come here, Ike. You ready? I think he's about ready, Dan. He said, I'm born in Kansas. I'm ready to go. I was born to hunt pheasants. <laughs> come on, Ike, come up. Let's go. Well, Bob, we're here with Bob Phillips, the owner of Muscovy Run Game Farm out here in Kinsman, Ohio. And Bob, you have people bring dogs out here year-round. The guys will come out and train their dogs during the summer, yep. and, and then you'll have groups of hunting parties out here all, all winter and fall. Yep. Um, what birds, what type of birds do you have available? We've got pheasant, quail, chugger, partridge. And chugger, partridge, great, great eating, chugger, oh, partridge. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good action and uh, <laughs> a lot of good eating. <laughs> and, I, and I see a lot of uh, different types of habitats out here. You, you manage, uh, what, what types of crops do you have planted out here for the hunters We've to use? We've got sorghum, sunflowers, corn, soybeans, plus yeah. a natural cover. Now do you find that it keeps the birds relatively always close here it, to home base? It pretty much holds them right here wow. in this field right here that you're going to hunt. There's probably 50 to 75 birds that have been here. A lot of them actually were hatched here this summer. Wow. 
So you do have a rejuvenation of birds mm -hmm. that you release yeah. into the wild. Yep. You obviously, you're kind of stalking the, the area here just around uh, Kinsman with, uh, with the birds you're putting he's, he's in. He's stalking the whole area. <laughs> I, can, I can assure you that, Rob. <laughs> uh, Bob, how many birds do you, do you put out a year out here? We'll set out about 5,000. 5,000, 5, holy cow. Birds. Not, not 5,000 make it out the field. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a few make it out today with me and you shooting. Yeah, probably. <clears> probably. Now, you can accommodate groups of a lot of people. Can you get a lot if of corporate outings? If we've got enough notice, yeah, we can accommodate. We've had groups, of, we've had some of the fire departments do youth shoots and et cetera, et cetera. We've had up to 30 shooters at one time. Wow. And you got plenty of room here. You can spread out so guys can have a good time. And of course, always use your your, your best, best rule of thumb with safety wise. You know, keeping people out of you know out of uh, your aiming uh, and swing of your gun. So and it's it's very inexpensive. Yeah. It's a great way to get out, especially if you're getting a kid involved and you want them to have success and you don't want to fight the public hunting areas where they release the birds there. You don't want to fight the public hunting areas and have to worry about you know, 20, 30, 40 other guys and, and other guys' dogs and everything. You can pretty much make a reservation here and know a certain day you'll have the place to yourself or you'll have very uh, limited interference with any other yeah. groups of hunters. Pretty much, during the week, uh, if the guys are looking to have a little bit of quiet time, generally speaking, you can have the place pretty much to yourself. Weekends are usually pretty busy. Wow. But that's, that's great. I'm and looking it, forward to it right now. It's good. nice and quiet out here, Dan. Yep. Watch out for the contact information at the end of the show on how you can bring your hunting buddies out here to Muscovy Run Game Farm out here in Kinsman, Ohio. We'll have the phone number, and uh, Bob will take care of you. As usual, Bob, sure. we appreciate it. And uh, we're going to go see if we can uh, figure out what Ike learned over the summer okay. and try to get rid of a few bad habits, I'm Thanks, sure. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate uh -huh. it. Good luck. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Let's head up this way, Dan. This Outdoor Icon Show factoid is brought to you by... DRS. Stay tuned, the Outdoor Icon will be right back.